Yeah. Hi, I'm Leslie. And I'm Doreen. And it's the tell-all part two of 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. And we are going to start right off with Mike and Jimena. You know, she says they're together, but then she tells him that she's not in love with him. And then 10 minutes later, she says, oh, but I love you. Uh, I mean, you know, and then she says, yes, I took all his money. I, I don't know what more he needs to hear. Oh, it, it, I just, my heart bleeds for him because he is desperately obsessed with her. It's not, I don't even know if it's love at this point. It's an obsession. And he is frantically just clinging to everything to hold on to this girl. And, you know, I think she's just taken by the fact that he's so, you know, that would kind of affect anyone to have this person so enamored with you that she just keeps leading him along. But he deserves so much better. But he is... He is, I don't even think he's emotionally able to give up on her. He I think, so... I think Usman nailed it. Usman basically said that uh, Jimenez JJ has voodoo. So I yeah. think that's exactly what it is. I think Mike is under a voodoo spell and he is unable to leave. So, you know, shout out to Usman for calling that. And that's the problem is probably, she, he's pro she's probably like the prettiest, most whatever girl he's ever had. So he is just whipped. Looks fade, Tal. Looks fade. If yeah. she doesn't have it in the heart, kick her to the curb. Uh, yeah, it was sad to see. Sad to see, but. So speaking of, um, you know, people who are fake and using other people, we're going to head right over to Ben and Mahogany. Uh, if there's ever anything more fake, you know, she goes on vacation with him and takes pictures. I love you, baby. Yes, all happy. And then she's like, I didn't know he was filming. Newsflash, if somebody is holding a camera in your face and you are smiling, that means it's going to be on camera. So I just, I, I can't even take her anymore. I just, she's got to go. Ben was so annoying. He was such a know-it-all, like, oh my God, I'm, you know, I'm this, I'm that. And now I see why, because he feels like, oh, I'm the one that got the girl and all this thing. But what a hot mess squat. that is. It's just like, and these people, like his his friends. I loved friend, her. Jessica, she was real. She was saying it right. I really I'm liked just her. just like, what kind of friendship is that? Like, it was just, I don't know. It was the crazy and they were all just... It She's being a, honest. Ben just doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to hear it from people. And then, yeah, I was a little pissed at Jasmine jumping in and, and giving crap to Jessica because well, Jessica was uh, everything I would have said. To, she, she said she, everything. She, yeah, she had to say that because she has to like because she realizes if she doesn't hate her, she has to then find Gino guilty of what he obviously did. Who are we kidding? Gino reached out to her, so that's the, uh, that's the issue there is that she has to be against her. You know, she wants to paint her as like a crazy person because she has to, you know. But of course, Gino texted her. What? Why would that girl? So of we're all going the people, into Jasmine and Gino now. She's a married one. She's gonna reach. She's gonna text Gino. Gino's the one that she's gonna just leave he out is of her just marriage. He such a with... stud. He is so studly. No, I... no, no, no. So uh, Jasmine, I mean, come on. Yes, you are crazy, but you are beautiful and you're a smart girl. What is it about Gino? Again, you're not even getting, you know, his little whatever. So I don't even know what you are staying with him for. Please. I don't know what either of their game he is. He is all full of crap. He constantly lies. He makes up shit. He talks to other people because he thinks somebody's going to want him. Gino, this TV show is not giving oh, you extra God, people, just, just so you know. And the funny thing about Jasmine is she is a crazy person when it comes to Gino. But, but what's very bizarre was that she's actually kind of like a little bit of a voice of reason when she's not talking about her own relationship. She actually has some insightful, calm, rational thoughts. And I was like, you know, it's in there. She has just lost all when, when it comes to Gino. But yeah, another one with the voodoo spell, I'm guessing. <sighs> but uh, so Thanks speaking of the, the host who calls all this out, let's jump over to Kim and Usman. So Usman did not have sex. So in his mind, it's perfectly fine to talk to an ex-girlfriend, say, you know, oh, are we going to get back together? Yeah. But didn't have sex. So I just kind of wonder if he was in a relationship, no offense, Kimberly, I'm not going to say with Kimberly, but let's say he was back in a relationship with Zara and she was on a video call with an ex-boyfriend. I don't think that would go over too well with him. Yeah, he just wanted to get off that topic and just like, I didn't have sex, you know, well, obviously, because she's in another country too, but... 
and that's what he wants to hang his hat on. But he was obviously flirting. It flirting. It's just it's flirting. He wanted to get back with her. And yeah. again, I will even yeah. give Kimberly a little bit of a wiggle room because she said, you know, I understand he wants to whatever. But he didn't say to Kimberly, hey, I'm going to call Zara up because, you know, maybe she could be the mother of my child and I'm going to have a discussion. Kimberly would have been pissed. Who are we kidding? She can pretend yeah. she's going to share him all she wants. At the end of the day, she's going to come to the realization that he loves her for what she has done for him. He is not in love yeah, with her. And in everybody with her. in the world deserves somebody who is so in love with you that that's you're all that matters and again it's not it's just him a whole for her. bunch of lopsided relationships here but ella and johnny again usman with the favorite quote buy some toys um you know so ella apparently goes on the same website that she met johnny with the chinese meets american website meets some chinese guy that she talks to and then has him come one to her house on her birthday because she didn't want to be alone and two stay over girls if anybody is watching this never ever ever meet anybody for the first time i don't care if you talk to him for 10 years online and you think you know him you never meet that person alone in your house ever you go and on four or five dates with scary. them somewhere on public so then levels. you can bring them over yeah and she and she has him sleep in her room Holy God, please she dodged don't a ever bullet. do that. That could have ended horribly wrong, oh. least of which would have been them hooking up. But, you know, she needs therapy. She's got some deep-seated issues. You know, bless Johnny for hanging in there. I mean, she I just don't know wants if to I be loved Johnny so either. desperately. She wants to be... Who does And as she said, her love language is touch. To make it <laughs> so kind of okay. mine, but I like to, to limit it, okay. it to my one man. You know, <laughs> I don't want everybody touching me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and you know what, it's, um, you know, at the end of it, she's like, oh, we're definitely getting married. We're going to have kids. And Johnny hasn't even come here yet to visit. Like, at yeah. the end of the day. A month, a month. Come on. And there's not a part three to this. Like, how do we find out about no. these people? Do we, oh, that's right. That was a tell-all. Are we going to go into diaries. another series? The yeah, diaries, I think. we need to find out all this, all this stuff. Because yeah. we can't leave. They're all hanging now. They were all fairly on somewhat stable ground, whichever way they were. And now they're all, like, in, in total flux. Yeah, and the diaries are showing us people from past episodes where they are. So let's all hope that we yeah, get to we find out because we do need this. Um, Memphis and Hamza were really excited and congratulations, shout out to them for having a baby. They yeah, did not say couple, what kind it was. They but. seem so respectable and just happy and in love. And I liked him with the glasses. He looked so like He looks very intelligent. And, yes, Hamza looked beautiful. I mean, Memphis beautiful. looked beautiful. That dress was stunning. Um, and having just had a baby at some point, you know, she got she sick, so great. she wasn't feeling very well. She had to leave in case you guys didn't see that it. That was very odd. Yeah, maybe it was food poisoning, or maybe just you know something. I mean, we Couldn't don't have know been the conversation, right? No, the conversation didn't do anything with them because they just talked about him coming over, you know, and getting the no, paperwork. No, not with them. I'm just like just oh, the sick, rest of, <laughs> of, sick of the because uh, yeah, the rest of I the get conversation. A at times. It's, you know. it makes me a little nauseous, but. Uh, yeah, so uh, congratulations to them. Hopefully all is going yes. well. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from them in the future. But if you like what you heard on our website, please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe and leave your comments below. We love to hear them. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.